Welcome back to our channel as we take on the best LA foods and desserts. We love Los Angeles for their unique take on food. In our videos, our tips are about 15%. Come with us now on our LA food tour. Our first stop is Brick French Toastery. They are located in Westfield Century City. The chef that started it is also Dwayne Johnson's personal chef. They sell brick-shaped sweet and soft brioche French toast with peanut butter coconut maple syrup, vanilla cream and toasted coconut chips. This was the most unique dessert we had in Los Angeles. This cost us $14.24 including tax. Got the peanut butter coconut maple syrup. Yeah, and what the other two? The vanilla bean whipped cream, mm -hmm. and then the last one is the toasted coconut chips. Okay, let's pour it on. Let it drizzle it over. Yeah, pretty. Oh, so artistic. Yeah. Look at that. Yum. That's a meal now. <laughs> this is French bread. It's more like a brioche probably, so more on the sweeter side, I, I would assume. Mmm, mm. like my hair with it as well. Mm. It's got a nice brioche texture. It's really yummy. The sauce is really good. It's sweet but not not too sweet it's like the perfect amount of bread with <laughs> this is so much bread to the sauce so it balances out mm. we got a crunchy texture from the um almonds no not the almonds the coconut chips that's good mm. yummy it's good breakfast mm. so soft mm. nice very good mm. our next stop is minya hanabi they are most famous for their soupless ramen and specialize in a blend of Taiwanese and Japanese fusion. We loved how unique it was and the generosity in the variety of ingredients. We ordered the deluxe dry noodles and the tofu salad for $35.52 including tats and tips. Break it? Yeah, break it. Ooh. Look at that. It's dry noodles. You can definitely taste the saltiness of the, um, the mints and the yolk. Gives a bit of a yeah, umami taste. A bit of creamy yolk. Yeah. Never had it before, something new. Yeah. So it's pork. It's quite good as well, soft. Yeah. Mingle's also got some chives and it tastes like miso, so that's really, really good. Yeah, not too salty. Perfectly cooked yolk as well. Soft and gooey in the centre. Oh, that which I've just covered with my mints now. Lots of garlic, lot of garlic. Spring onion. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Tofu is really good. Very bouncy. Flavorful on the outside. Got some sesame seeds. Some sort of soy marinade, I believe. It tastes good, it's still a bit warm. And then you got a lot of spring onion, so you can definitely taste the spring onion. And the seaweed salad just gives a nice crunch all around. So it's good, it feels clean. It's vegan, I believe, so it's for the vegan people out there. So they have this cool policy where you can add rice to any leftover sauce that you have, which is amazing because we don't want to waste, but we're quite full and Ricky has some leftover rice from the other dish, so we're going to just combine it ourselves. So just uh, add your rice to the sauce, or add the sauce to the rice as well, that's okay. Let's have a look. And mix it. Can't even see. Soggy rice. Soggy rice. It's a lot more mince to rice, but we should add more rice, but I think we're quite full. It's pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes the rice flavor. Yeah. 
Pink's Hot Dogs is a must visit. It is one of the most famous eateries in LA, so be prepared to wait in line. It is also known to be visited by many celebrities, which are all on their wall. They have the widest varieties of hot dog flavors and fillings we have ever seen. We ordered La La Land and the Philly Cheese Steak for $23.98, including tax, and had it at the very nice eating area at the back of the eatery. It's gonna get messy. Parker flavor combination, steak and sausage. The guacamole is really nice with the offsets the saltiness of the sausage. That's good. Yeah, you've got the salty sausage and bacon bits and then yeah, the, the avocado and tomato just for a bit of freshness. It's really good. Mm. Yeah, glad I got this flavor. La La La. It's good. Our next stop is Grand Central Market. It is located in downtown LA and is home to many eateries of different cuisine, including Japanese, American, Mexican, South American, Korean, Chinese, Filipino and more. They also have a few dessert options. Our favorite was the cod and avocado taco from Broad Street Oyster Co for $26.06. The pork butt bun from Villa Moria Liana for $13.07. And a chocolate chip cookie from Bristol Farms for $4.75. Moving back to Asian food, we recommend Sujita Artisan Noodles. We were baffled by their very unique approach to eating ramen. You dip the noodles into the broth right before you eat it. We ordered their signature sukumin and salmon rice bowl, which cost $45.43. So apparently you grab the noodles and dip it in the bowl instead of noodles and soup. So we're going to try that now. There you go, dip it in, mix it, ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's in, it feels different, interesting. It's a very yes. brothy. Brothy. Yeah, right there. Different way to do it, eh? Mm. 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 Yeah, it's quite, quite nice. Mm. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah, I feel. Mm. Fish tastes fresh. Very tender fish. Nice and a little bit warm. It's good. Yum. We've got salmon roe as well. Mm. Pop. These little bits of salmon roe just give a nice pop of liquid to the dish. 
Just across the road from Shujita is the perfect dessert, Wanderlust Creamery. We are very excited to try their wide variety of unique flavors from all around the world, especially the Asian flavors. We got the ube flavor, which is like a purple yam, and the Japanese Neapolitan, which consists of matcha, hojicha, and black sesame with an ube cone. As you can see, these flavors are not very common in your typical ice cream shop. I only really taste the hojicha, I don't really taste much else. And tea flavour comes tea flavour comes a bit later. Try the ube. Yeah, the ube can taste the ube and it's a nice texture and more, more creamy. Try the ube with the ube con. So you can taste the ube and the ube con actually. It's just a little bit stale unfortunately. But it's still tasty. Mm. Our next sweet stop is Okabing. Be prepared to line up to get into this place. Okabing is known for their variety and quality of flavoured shaved ice. We ordered the mango melon and black sesame shaved ice for $14 including tax. The fruit was super fresh and went well with the perfectly made shaved ice. <laughs> it's very, very soft. You can actually taste the black sesame. The mango flavour, a bit more subtle. It's not actually that strong. Nice texture though. Let's try one of these melon if I can get to it. It's nice with the melons. The melon's very fresh, very fresh. Very juicy. <laughs> melon's the favourite part actually. How I eat her. And how Ricky eats her. <laughs> Our last stop is In and Out LA Eats. In and Out is one of the most popular fast food restaurants in California. What makes the LA Eats Airport brunch so special is that while you eat your delicious cheap food, you get the best view of the plane landings in LA Airport. The planes fly extremely low and close. We ordered the hamburger and the cheeseburger with fries and a drink for $14.18 including tax. Their menu is simple but they do it well and it's a classic. As well as the cheap affordable food, you can also get some amazing photos of the incoming planes and the restaurant. We hope you guys have enjoyed coming on this food tour with us. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe to stay updated on new videos. See you next time.